Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena. Today we're gonna be playing with three gunners because I decided that it's a beautiful day to just troll some people on ladder and my opponent will be a six star player with uh, apes as a first play. Definitely a serious play because uh, pretty much if you are an inexperienced player you won't pick like apes over a dark knight or something like stuff like that. I'm gonna actually play Brute here, there's no reason for me not to, maybe I'm gonna even get some aggression going, because usually apes are run with a, um, <clears throat> how do you call it, with earthquakes, so that's the spell I cannot use in this matchup, I'm gonna split three gunners, maybe I should have even split two gunners on the opposite side, because, uh, yeah, obviously that's how you play it, and I'm gonna split three gunners, and yeah, in fact, he's gonna be having an EQ, so I'm gonna just pump as quickly as uh, it's physically possible. He's gonna try to punish uh, my overcommitment by going ace, probably, but there's a question on which side, and the answer is he doesn't know it either. My gunner is getting a ridiculous amount of damage, which shouldn't be uh, ever legal. He's gonna get uh, his ape going, and I'm gonna get a counter here. I'm gonna play actually a devil horde on these apes because uh, he didn't manage to get a, a suitable counter. I'm gonna get it with twins uh, and uh, it's gonna be pretty much the start of the game. I'm gonna get bullets to counter his gunner and yeah these twins are on the tower. He was just lacking in mana uh, big time and my pump pretty much paid off. I've already won the game and my opponent recognized it by, uh, by, by simply giving up. So yeah there's nothing more to commentate on. It was very swift game and pretty much but won by only one mistake. He used Earthquake when I had a pump in hand. So yeah, that's gonna be GG. Let's hop to the game number two. And the game number two, we're gonna face a Thundercroc who is 31 metal player. Pretty much uh, by the first looks a beginner to this game. So we're gonna just split free gunners first play and basically hope for the best. He plays. He played Super Ape, so basically I'm assuming he's playing 2.6 Super Ape Psycho, and he doesn't well, uh, I may as well just uh, call it outplay. He's playing it uh, in a very annoying style, so it looks, by the first looks, he knows what he's doing. I'm gonna go with Twins uh, on the side with two gunners, and there's the difference, he has no defense here. I was pretty hoping that he's gonna like get a flying bomb and counter me like, not, not really I was hoping to uh, see it, but like I was kind of expecting from this player to put up uh, more of right Now he doesn't have a, a flying bomb because he used it on my devils. I'm gonna just play Brute with a devil horde and I don't think there's anything that he can do to stop it because his only response to a devil horde is a gunner and he has a gunner out of hand. I mean he has the gunner uh, in hand, he has even mana for it, but yeah. He's not gonna even try to play it because the tower was already down. So that's gonna be a very swift game number two. I'm gonna just count these two first games as a game number one and swiftly jump to the next game of this video. Alright, so next game of this video will be against Johnny Filosofo, another victim of my epic trolling. With a deck that shouldn't make any sense and yet <laughs> we are here. Okay, I'm gonna play uh, some devils uh, to maybe snipe the archer, uh, very good. And still hammer will die in the process as well. Uh, if you count mana, it's 747 and I'm absolutely happy. Even though I didn't uh, gain any mana, at least I've cycled to my mana pump and I've instantly played it. So I'm gonna counter these bone blasters, I'm gonna counter these, this bomb skeleton. He even places a bullets which uh, normally I would play Devil Horde uh, for the offense, but uh, I know this deck, it's a default deck uh, for this game. Uh, if you load the game and do absolutely nothing, you will be granted uh, this exact deck. And he's having Bomberman, so playing Devil Horde into that would be a, a horrendous blunder, as my opponent uh, would have a very easy time dealing with that. Uh, Using the card which is named Bomberman, so pretty much if your opponent has Bomberman against this deck you're pretty screwed because pretty much every card in this deck is getting uh, very heavily countered by Bomberman, but uh, you can still like play around it. Also my opponent by the first looks isn't like super experienced, so maybe he doesn't uh, 
uh, know how to like utilize it to the uh, absolute limits. I'm gonna get some footmen and they will kill Bomberman and I think that pretty much seals the deal because I'm playing devils here. Uh, I leaked some one mana from my pump. That was pretty embarrassing. I'm gonna play bullets here just to apply some pressure. Yeah, this bomb skeleton will die. Here goes. See, I'm gonna play the mana collector. There's also no reason not to play it. He's going for it, and I don't think that was a, the best play on his part. Especially that now I'm gonna just play three gunners and basically hope to get some a very huge push going. I'm gonna play twins on this side since he has the bomberman on the other. I shouldn't be like committing too much. I'm gonna just commit one gunner uh, from the two gunner split, and I'm gonna uh, play brute to just basically tank. I'm gonna play. Uh, bullets here uh, to clean the way for my twins. One gunner will survive from the skirmish. I'm gonna split uh, one more uh, set of three gunners and basically uh, guarantee the pressure on both sides. He's gonna play Bomberman on one side, which is definitely the way to go, but he's gonna still drop the tower, I think. Yeah, okay, he's, he's not, he's not. I'm gonna have to play bullets uh, to do so and right now I don't think he has a clear way to just uh, defend that. Maybe he doesn't even want to defend that. Yeah, there we go, there's the cam in the corner. A pretty common sign of just resigning the game. Well, it was pretty smooth, but trust me, this default deck actually gets a very decent matchup if you know what you're doing. Like, you cannot stop really pumps. Uh, you have to like uh, be uh, the pressure god to stop your pawn from uh, pumping, but like... Uh, that was none of my concern because I'm pretty confident with my defense. Yeah, GG well played, let's jump to the next game of the video. And the next opponent in this video will be PippoDP89 who has almost 900 medals. I've seen this player with a bigger amount of medals and uh, he's gonna start with a T-Rex and a Bomber. So uh, my first prediction is Plemetry, obviously. Here comes the cycle, so it's pretty much only sealing further and further. I think I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna actually split a uh, phone horn just to uh, absolutely counter it. Uh, it's gonna get a very cool uh, footman keck. I'm gonna play a mana collector because uh, with this deck, like, you don't want to 100% defend everything that's coming for you. You want to just be sure that you're not dead and. Uh, by playing this, I'm uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not dead, and he uses his pressure card, uh, which only like makes my life easier. So I'm gonna just split three gunners since he used a poison. Uh, right now, I'm gonna actually play a twins here, try to get some aggression going. I'm gonna play bullets against this bomber to keep my three gunners safe. And right now, he uses the. Uh, uh, what, how do you call it, uh, the footman hack, so I'm gonna just pressure with a phone horde and actually this is gonna seal the tower, I, I didn't think that's gonna get the tower, but uh, I was pretty sure that it's gonna like for cyclone or something, and it would have been already very good play if this was uh, the case, but uh, I've got even more, so there's absolutely nothing that I can complain in this game, if he ever plays uh, T-Rex and uh, Cemetery, I'm gonna just play three gunners, uh, I'm gonna play Mana Collector just here to see what's gonna be his... Okay, he's gonna be just playing a uh, Poison every time I play a Mana Collector, which is one of the ways of playing this matchup. Uh, I think it's the simplest way because you actually like uh, get rid of the uh, way where your opponent gets uh, the free advantage. Uh, I'm gonna play Brood here just to uh, tank some uh, T-Rex shots. He's gonna get a Cyclone going, which is very scary, uh, but at the same time, right now I'm gonna get some pressure. So he uses right now the Poison, which pretty much means that he uh, that he won't be able to uh, attack me uh, efficiently. I'm gonna just cycle Devils, I'm gonna cycle 3 Gunners, because there's nothing on the board to counter them, unless he like wants to uh, commit the uh, T-Rex and uh, Cyclone once again. I'm gonna obviously block this T-Rex, that's the easiest block of my life. I'm gonna play some uh, uh, Fawn Heart, which is like not the best play, but at this point I just have to uh, apply some heavy pressure to my opponent, so he cannot like attack me at all, and that's gonna be GG's. 
Uh, I would say I actually won this game in single mana by one of his mistakes. Maybe he didn't know like 100% of my deck, but it was enough to just seal the win. Usually, Splemetry is very hard counter to this deck because like you see, uh, you can just play poison on the mana collector and cycle to the second poison on defense and usually if your opponent is smart it's gonna be like perfect defenses over and over again but but he looked in the single and I absolutely uh, used this opportunity to take the win. Let's jump to the game number four shall we? And the next game will be against Apollo with uh, 1600 mils which is pretty decent score for an average player like Apollo I was I believe he was uh, reaching 1800, maybe even 2000 at some point, but yeah, I, I would have to like recall it uh, or something. He's gonna be playing a very annoying deck, I kinda wanted to just stop this uh, Fire Tiny, I don't know if that's the best play, but surely this Gunner play is not like uh, something I have to be worried about, especially now that he uh, wasted his... Uh, uh, <clears throat> wasted his Fire Tiny. I can just uh, take this uh, machine gun for free and I'm gonna apply the pressure on the opposite side so he does not have like uh, mana to defend although he's gonna have absolutely enough mana to defend so yeah that's gonna be a nice play on his part I think I have to even commit a full heart on this but I'm gonna commit it as late as it's physically possible so um, he does not like get some cheeky cheeky spell predictions so yeah that's gonna be the Phone heart and right now I pretty much don't know what I want to do. Uh, maybe the answer is get a mana collector. Okay, he gets a mana collector as well. This is huge. Usually I think uh, if I get a mana collector, is it is better for the uh, side with a uh, three gunners. It may vary. But I'm gonna just the bullet. Okay, he's he's actually predicting that I'm gonna play three gunners and that was a good prediction. I'm gonna get devils and basically try to mitigate this damage. Uh, and right now, I think I'm gonna just get the twins in front of my gunners. Um, after which, I'm gonna just figure out how to proceed uh, further down the line. Uh, he's gonna probably get away with some uh, cheap defenses, and yeah, he absolutely gets away with the cheapest defense possible. So, outside the uh, trades in single mana go absolutely to him. He uh, once again guesses uh, which uh, card I'm gonna play and it was Mana Collector. I'm, go I'm gonna play with Brute, but he uh, was just uh, fast enough. I was trying to predict his uh, Tiny. Yeah, he's just, he's just uh, absolutely reading me like a book in this match. And unfortunately, there's nothing I can do. I would love to say that there's something I can do, but yeah. Obviously, the thing I could do was uh, go for a different... See, he's just predicting everything. Like he, he's just, uh, ay ay ay, very unfortunate one. But sometimes you just have to get some things like that. I would love not this, this team not to get stunned. Yeah, that that was that was very well played by him. Nothing to be said. Yeah, he <laughs> he is even spamming nice play because he knows he absolutely perfectly played this game. Like oh yeah 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 yeah. Sometimes I think like in this matchup I have to just wait, let him just do his predictions and if he misses I'm gonna be having the advantage but right now he just hit every single prediction right and also like my mana collectors were just like point, uh, 0.1 seconds late all, every time because I like especially with this uh, rolling steel on my phone hoard I was like Come on, man, <laughs> come on, this is a brute, was on time, but like, it wasn't, yeah, whatever, too much yapping, let's jump to the uh, last game of, the, of today's video. And the last game of today's video will be against, uh, well, Sigma Edgar, maybe that's the character from the Brawl Stars or something, maybe, I don't know. And if it isn't, and there was another intention between its Nick, uh, I'm not gonna explain it because, uh, frankly, it's an inappropriate for the YouTube standards. So I'm gonna just cycle twins uh, in the back, virtual play, and uh, whatever he plays. Okay, he plays another skeleton fort. I actually didn't expect that. I was expecting like archers or some uh, uh, phone horde or uh, stuff like that. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> Speaking of unpredictable, I definitely didn't expect three gunners going down the lane, especially in one lane. 
Okay, he's gonna get a very good trade here. Uh, because obviously my gunners had to engage Fons, which is like suboptimal, and I play Brute directly into his Skeletal Horse, so he's gonna get away with like a criminal good uh, type of start. And now I have to just uh, like uh, get back to it, like uh, well, come back to this game. And that's not gonna be easy since uh, he's playing very greedy, okay, he's gonna playing flying robot like this i don't think right now he can hold a counter player unless he can in this case i'm screwed well i have to ball it anyway so let me just take this tower uh, let me just play the devil court against his twins and absolutely shut it down because i don't see the reason why i shouldn't play it and right now he blunders so in the previous uh, case i absolutely blundered to a uh, mere uh, skeleton horde but since now i know his tricks and he didn't know my trickery it's gonna be a fabulous straight for me i'm gonna okay he's okay bro that, that's not gonna work that's not gonna cut it he's gaining one stop and one uh, damage from rolling steel he spends like a lot more mana than i do I'm gonna actually counter this Skeleton Horde with 3 Gunners because I have enough mana. My 3 Gunners are actually targeting one collecti collectively targeting one Skeleton for some reason and that's absolutely not optimal for um, uh, the damage spread from the 3 Gunners. I'm gonna play Twins here uh, and yeah, my opponent just resigned because there's nothing to be done and I actually agree with him. This time, if he were to play Skeleton Horde, I would play Bullets for the first and second one would have been killed by my troops. So yeah, that's gonna be the game number 5 of the today's video. I actually uh, enjoy playing this deck even though I've lost one game. Well, like I've said, sometimes it happens. Sucks to suck. Uh, either way, thanks for watching if you uh, stayed till the end of the video. If you aren't subscribed already, I highly encourage you to do so because I'm gonna be posting Boom Arena content in the future every single day, so you don't uh, want to miss out on this content. I'm gonna be covering a lot of decks and probably other uh, stuff uh, once I get like the ideas, maybe from you. Leave a comment if you have some good idea of what I can record about this game. So yeah, thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe. I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Marina.